we have to deal with ultimate truth and relative truth to cover all of the bases. Um, ultimate truth and relative truth is one of the primary things we found in the composite map, that about a third of the cultures distinguish between ultimate truth, which is waking up to radical reality in a Satori or enlightenment, and then relative truth, all of them still felt was important, but it wasn't ultimate truth. So relative truth is I am looking at a, I'm in a dark room and there seems to be a rope, a, sorry, it seems to be a snake in the corner. And I'm frightened to death of that. And I spend all of my time avoiding that snake. And then finally, one day I find a light switch and I switch the light on and I see that the snake is actually just a coiled rope. And so the, now I have a more accurate truth. And even if the light turns off, I'll never be afraid of that snake again. So relative truths are things like um, water is composed of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. And the traditions would say, yes, that's fine. It's important to learn that. that, that that's true. But ultimate truth is that water is not made of hydrogen or oxygen. Water is made of Brahman. <laughs> water is made of Tao. Water is made of Godhead. That's ultimate truth. Mm. Both are important. And so we have managed to create a culture that has all, ult all relative truth and no ultimate truth. Mm. And that is catastrophic that a culture could exist kind of like that. So, so both ultimate and relative truth are included on our super map. And so the first would be ultimate truth. You need a foundation of emptiness. You, you just, you need emptiness or you get your head clogged with ideas, concepts, meanings, and so on that you're going to take as absolute truth. And that's not a good idea. So the better you understand emptiness, the more you clear out for these other items that are important. So once it's cleared with emptiness, then we look at relative truth in particular. And again, please recognize that these are very simplistic responses. Relative truth, the thing that's important there uh, for just one word is wholeness. So after we've cleared away all of the fragmented and broken and clogged up views about what reality is, and it's nice and open, then we have room for looking for wholeness and finding wholeness. And of course, there are you know, other things that can go with that. But primarily, we're looking for a whole job, a whole human being, a whole family, a whole heart, a whole uh, inclusiveness of reality, a wholeness of the human race, a wholeness of our love and light and care for each other. And that wholeness is the glue that's holding everything together.